Welcome to the inside of a sinkhole. Big sinkhole, in fact. Inside of this voluminous sinkhole, there is a waterfall flowing into it. And that waterfall is just percolating into the ground, disappearing underground beneath the rock and the gravel. Disappearing underground, and there's a very good explanation for all of this. A sinkhole should be thought of as basically a really big cavity in the ground. Now look at the walls of this sinkhole. It is made of limestone. And the fact that this is made of limestone is a big part of why it exists in the first place. The water itself is another big reason why this sinkhole exists. Limestone is a carbonate rock. It tends to dissolve a little easier than other types of rock. And what happens is that the water that flows, it starts to dissolve the limestone. Over time, as that limestone dissolves, a hole is in the ground. And it gets to a point where that hole cannot really support the rock and the soil above. And it collapses forming this giant hole. You can see the limestone, which is basically the bedrock. And then you can see where the soil, you know, where the path that leads into the sinkhole where it's just slumping. You can tell where a collapse in the soil took place. The karst topography of this region is a big part of why this waterfall exists. The waterfall is coming out of this karst spring. Karst springs being a common feature in karst topography. The water flows out of that spring and becomes that waterfall. The karst topography that is a part of why this karst spring exists and thus why this waterfall exists is a big part of this sinkhole. Sinkholes can also be the pathways into underground tunnels. And those underground tunnels, that's what cave systems are. The waterfall that is disappearing underground, well, waterfalls that often disappear into the ground that are going underground a lot of them are captured by underground tunnel systems. You have waterfalls that will disappear into caves. And what happens is that the rock and the gravel, the water will percolate through that. It'll go underground. And it'll be captured by a cave system. Caves themselves are very common in areas of karst topography. Karst topography is a big part of why Lost Sink Falls is what it is. From the Karst Spring to the underground channels for which this waterfall disappears into to the sinkhole that it flows into. That's Karst topography. If you like this video, be sure to check out other videos on this channel. And as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.